the foods that they eat in space are very much like the foods that we eat here on Earth. They're just processed and packaged a little bit differently so that they can eat them in space. But some things probably travel better than others. Yes. Yes, so things that don't really have a lot of crumbs travel better into space. You don't want to open something and have a lot of crumbs coming out. So things that break easy, like chips, don't really travel so well into space. A lot of the snack type foods, low moisture foods that we use are from the grocery store and we, re we repackage them so that you can see if they broke so you don't have issues with crumbs in space and also uh, to give them individual serving sizes in case something were to break like a cracker. The way the food is packaged actually helps it last longer. Yes, yes. So this is a, a granola bar in its primary package and for ISS missions, International Space Station missions, we actually put them in an overwrap that has aluminum and these packages together greatly reduce the oxygen and moisture transfer into the food and they reduce they, they reduce rancidity. Some crew really like the shrimp cocktail. They like spicy things. Um, there's a few other spicy things on the menu. And they really like the tortillas, which are packaged like this. Their ability to taste food changes in space, the way they taste food changes in space. And they like spicy things. And part of that might be because there's a fluid shift in the body from, uh, towards the head. And so they can feel like they have a cold. They can't just drive to the McDonald's or out to dinner or to the grocery store. This is one place where there is no alternative and there will not be an alternative. They are getting their entire food sustenance from our system, so it has to be highly acceptable so that they want to eat it, they look forward to eating it, um, and then they maintain their intake and caloric consumption. And it has to be nutritious and it has to meet all of their requirements.